Hi guys, uh, this time I'm going to show you how to make a music equalizer in Photoshop CC in the new version of Photoshop well, there is not a big difference uh, between Photoshop CC and Photoshop CS6 but I think there are four or five features so we have changed a little bit so at our point uh, let's go and start a new file the resolution it depends to you you will make it depends from your file and what are you trying to do in this point well you can make music equalizers for your posters if you are a music producer if you produce music or everything as I do if you if you gotta make a photo to, to make for beginners or for someone who doesn't know because it seems stupid but it isn't because You know, I I know because I I was a beginner once and it was very very hard for me to understand. And uh, this Photoshop is very very powerful too to make your work, especially if you are uh, if you work with uh, web or web designs. Uh, Photoshop is the complete tool for you, for your photos, for your text, for your font, for everything. So, all we gotta do is tonight to say to you how to make this equalizer. It's pretty, pretty simple. All you gotta do is to go at this tool here, to go at rectangular marker tool or single column marker tool. Here it is. Yeah. You go at your brush tool, you switch it to white, let's say, select, that's it. Very well. And as you see, everything here inside is white. No, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You gotta make a layer, select the layer and make it up in the layer select the select and we have the line a mistake I'm sorry well here we are we pick the brush we paint it white Okay, so got select, deselect, or command and D, or control D in Windows, as we have. Got filters, stylize, and wind. Well, make it 100%. Wind from the right. Okay, as you see here, well, the amount of your effect is very, very small, so you gotta increase it. All you gotta do is to press Ctrl F and it will be bigger. Well, you can do it again and again as you like it, as much as you like it. So, all you gotta do is to do this. After this, Ctrl Tough. Got that 90 degrees to be right straight. After this, all we gotta do is to make it a little bigger if you like. Bigger. Yeah, it's very, very good. It's very, very simple. Well, it depends 
from you what you gotta do strangely so we have the first side of our of our layer so all we gotta do now is to put the second side so all we gotta do now is to go with your pick your layer scroll it down and put it in your duplicate and duplicate it so your layer now is duplicated press ctrl tough ctrl t command t and flip vertical all you gotta do now is to go closer 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 and to find your line between and here it is as you see here inside if you like for example you gotta you can make it bigger and more bigger now you can play as much as you like with this and uh, gotta go at the next one to make it bigger too control T and open it open it as much as you like make it like uh, Adobe Audition something T yeah we correct our layer here and let's go and zoom it yeah yeah it's pretty perfect I think it's very very good all we got to do now is to press shift shift and go at your our layer copy and layer one click on them and they will be turned in blue and after this press control and a a the a is with the w and two layers will be merged together so you don't have to do nothing if you want to make, for example, Gaussian audition, there are two. Duplicate our layer. Here it is. just okay after this if you like you can add you can add any uh, texture if you want uh, equalizer or you got a search in the web to find what you like And after this, you gotta do it in your way, in your own way. Yeah, it's, I think, the same thing as here. Uh, yeah, if you like, for example, to make this photography as a background or every photo in the background. Now all you gotta do is to go at your uh, gradient tool, now merge the two layers together, press shift and click on them. On, uh, when they turn blue, as they are here, uh, press Ctrl and A. And now you gotta create a gradient, a gradient map, gradient layer. And uh, just pick a color or put a texture inside everything you like but no I will do it for to show you the best and fastest way to make them and if you choose this all you gotta do you see now is very very red well that's not a problem 
because all you gotta do is to go to your liar star, uh, liar of uh, your blending modes and uh, find overlay or screen. I don't know. That's in your hand or add add there. No, that's in, in After Effects in screen, for example. Or you can change your colors, or you can do everything you like here inside, if you like. <laughs> 